What is up, folks? Presta Gaming, we are here in Alpha 21. Yes, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too, because today I'm going to show you guys four mods. Well, okay, three mods and then one like big ass collection of mods you guys should definitely be using for Alpha 21 if you enjoy a more casual play style. So the first thing is you guys notice my toolbar is a lot bigger. My backpack is really big. I have 12 slots here. These are all brought to us by the awesome Kane GB, the mega megalomaniac. I don't really want to call him that. Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? Maniacal genius. That's the one. That's that's the word I was thinking of. The maniacal genius behind Darkness Falls, that torturous bastard. Thank God he's getting what he deserves on uh, Neves Gaming. I'm kidding, Kane. You're really. I've I've enjoyed Darkness Falls and stuff a lot. You've done a great job, and I really enjoy seeing you on there. I, I I think it's awesome to actually see you play the game. Anyway, back to the mods. Sorry, I hit escape. Back to the mods. So Kane GB has brought all of the cool features of darkness falls minus the demons and stuff like that to alpha 21 for us to play with such as a 15 slot tool belt a bigger backpack we have a 60 and a 90 slot backpack we have 12 slot crafting queue a three slot forge food and water bar off to the side he uh, health bar things that we can see stuff like that like there's a lot of stuff that kane gb has brought in to alpha 21 for us to really enjoy if you like a more casual style of play like i do a lot of other people do like when i do my playthrough for alpha 21 i'll be using a lot of these mods just so you guys can see just because i enjoy that tweaked vanilla aspect that these mods bring in so kane gb thank you guys oh i say thank you guys thank you so much for bringing these things over from darkness falls and from alpha 20 to alpha 21 because i know i'm gonna get a hell of a lot of use out of them and i know a ton of other people will so thank you we really appreciate it but with that folks we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the next mod all right, folks, so the next mods we're going to cover is Animal Planet by MD420 Reaper. Now, this is a mod that I did show off in Alpha 20, but you see over there, there's a bear there. There's a stag there, and uh, there's other critters roaming around these streets over here. I've, I've heard a few of them, seen a few of them wandering around. I just don't know where they're all at. But the reason why is because if you don't want to use the increased zombie stuff that Kane GB brings in, then you can use this mod to give more animals and it does give more animals it makes the cities populated a lot more with animals but i will say there is a conflict that will happen if you're using both animal planet and kane gb's increased zombies and animal mod it'll cause like some weird stuff to happen where animals won't spawn correctly cities will get more populated with zombies and stuff but uh, the animal spawns will go kind of cattywampus which I, I like the animal spawns more so than the zombie spawns uh just because the animals can be a little bit more challenging especially you know like i've showed before like on our uh, finale episode for 20 <laughs> spawning right next to a bear like with animal planet it's it's an insane thing to have happen on day one and i like that a lot more than the city just being populated with a crap ton of zombies because I, I think the animals can be a little bit more challenging you know dealing with bear and grace and stuff like that but with that we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next mod all right folks so you guys probably saw this mod when we were flying or saw this uh, vehicle when we were flying around talking about uh the previous mod but this is the age of oblivion all-in-one vehicles and I really like this. I like the, not just like the shiny sports car, which I do really, I really like having something like that there. But the big reason why I like vehicle mods like this is because we get a lot of difference in vehicles that we'll find scattered about like this here. And to me, seeing a vehicle like this makes it seem like there was a survivor that died in like, you know, they, they came here, they parked the vehicle, they went inside to go do something and then they died. And now their vehicle's just there as a reminder. And it's broken down to the point where we can't really drive it. You know, stuff like that. I, I like that, like, kind of lore in my head of stuff like this. But also just the the ability to have variations of vehicles that you can just drive in general. I'm going to turn the AI off because it's getting annoying. But it's really cool. to it's, it's nice to have variations like this. And that's why I like vehicle mods so much. And especially this one because there's a lot to it. And the vehicles are all just in general really fun to play with. Uh, Piper Mac has done just an amazing job with vehicles in general. And Age of Oblivion 
is a very underrated or underutilized overhaul if you guys haven't checked it out for alpha 20 while alpha 21 is still experimental highly recommend you guys go play it it is so fun it is a very very interesting very well done mod that does a lot of things differently than what you guys would expect if you get a chance to actually jump into it i highly i highly suggest you do but with that we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the last mod all right, folks, this last mod is the super easy empty jars by Bull Rider slash uh, XV Gray. Almost said gravy there. Um, it's a cool little mod that brings back a quality of life feature from Alpha 20. We get two versions. We have a version where we can craft empty jars or a version where we just get empty jars as we drink water. So you have water in my hand. I'm going to go ahead and drink it. And then boom, we have empty jars here. Now, I like this because Yucca Juice still requires you to have water, so it's not making it super easy where, like, I'm in the desert, I could just gather up a crap ton of Yucca, and boom, I have infinite source of hydration. I still have to have water, so I still have to have the Dew Collector and things like that, but the reason I like the empty jars is because there's times where you're out and there's not really any around here except for right over here where you find well, i guess right there too where you find little puddles of water and if you've got empty jars on you you at least have a chance now to gather murky water to take back to your base as opposed to like well i wish i had some empty jars now i have to you know make do with whatever this just gives you a slight little bit leg up on survival just a little bit more um Oh, man, I was hoping I would have landed that just a little bit more ability to, um, you know, stave off dehydration because I mean, honestly, if you're playing by yourself, it's it's not super hard anyway, really. I mean, they added it. They say it's an it's an unnecessarily challenge. It's more for like multiplayer playthroughs. If you've got three or four people, it makes it a lot harder to maintain your water source because then you need a bunch of the do collectors but if you're playing solo i just from me messing around by myself two do collectors is all you need and you're golden for water but besides like what you'll find in loot and stuff like that you're not going to run out of water easily and you can get two do collectors day one if you play smart and sell well stuff like that you're you, you easily can get the the stuff that you need it's not hard this just makes it to where you actually have a little bit easier chance of water and you don't have to worry about going so hard so fast on doing quests and stuff like that which that's a whole other topic i'm not going to cover but that is it folks that's alpha 21's top choice mods so far these are the mods that i really think everybody should be playing with if you're going to play alpha 21 i think you should be using these mods i know i will be i'm planning on doing alpha 21 playthrough i'm going to do a vanilla and then a modded playthrough so people can see hey these are the things that i liked about vanilla but i'm tweaking them with you know all these cool mods and these are going to be the first four i use well i say first four because kane's got just a crap ton of mods but that's it folks we're done thanks for sticking around i hope you had fun if you liked the episode go ahead like subscribe drop a comment down below all that good stuff and you know what guys if you didn't like the episode you can leave a dislike that's fine if you want to leave a comment giving me recommendations anything i really appreciate it but have fun take it easy and we will see you next time <laughs>